This is a short video lesson in dimensional analysis. Science calculations often involve measurements. Because of this fact, you must always use both the numeric part of any measurement as well as the unit of the measurement. Here's an example, 33.463 centimeters. The numeric part of the measurement is the 33.463 centimeters, but that number also comes with a unit of measurement, which is centimeters. And you can't use one without the other. In many science calculations, you have to change or convert from one unit of measurement to the other. It's a simple fact. You have to do it. Here's an example. Let's suppose that you need to find the area of a rectangle using the formula area equals length times width. And also let's suppose that the measurements you're given are in meters and centimeters, both meters and centimeters. Four meters, 200 centimeters, length and width. Well, you know that you cannot multiply meters times centimeters. So in this instance, you decide to change or express centimeters as meters so that both measurements are in the same unit. That's important. They have to be in the same unit. You can't multiply meters times centimeters. They both have to be in the same unit. You either have to change the meters to centimeters or the centimeters to meters. That's just a fact. So here's how we can change the centimeter measurement into meters. Conversions like this are made using a process called dimensional analysis in which the units or dimensions of the measurement are manipulated. Dimensions such as 4 meters or 200 centimeters. The dimension is the unit of measurement centimeters in this case, or in this case over here, meters. And we're going to manipulate those in this process of dimensional analysis. In other words, we're going to analyze the dimensions in the problem. Here's how we can change the centimeter measurements to meters. The first step is to write down the given value and its unit. And we want to change this to meters. So, the second step is to multiply the given value and its unit by a conversion factor. There's the conversion factor. A conversion factor is a fraction, a true fraction, that will allow you to cancel the unwanted unit, in this case centimeters, both above and below, above and below this division line, cancel that centimeter out. Since the centimeter is both above and below the division line, they will cancel out, cancel out. And that is going to leave only the desired unit, in this case, which is meters. And that gives us an answer when we work this out of two meters. That meter is brought over into the answer. That desired unit, the meter, is brought over into that answer. So, solve the problem, area equals length times width. Second step, area equals 4 meters times not 200 centimeters, but 2 meters. We brought that down. And so it gives us an area of 8 square meters. And you notice, we squared the meters. We multiplied meters times meters. We didn't multiply meters times centimeters, and that's why you have to make this change. That's why you have to use dimensional analysis to make this change. So, problem solved. Now let's look at a couple problems. A snail crawled a distance of 0 0.023 inches. How far is this in centimeters? Well, we have a given value and unit. That given value and unit is 0 0.023 inches. 
and we're going to change that to the desired unit, which is centimeters. And I've given you a hint here. I've given you the conversion factor that we're going to use. It is a true fraction that shows the correct relationship between inches and centimeters. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Or I can express it like this, one inch per 2.54 centimeters. In the second problem, we also have a given value and its unit. The value is 0 .0004343 uh, millimeters. That's the unit. And we're going to convert that into kilometers. That is the desired outcome or the desired unit in the answer. Another way to say this is we're going to convert this number in millimeters into kilometers. So here are the answers. How did we get the answers? Well, we used our conversion factor 2.54 centimeters per inch. 2.54 centimeters per inch. And we multiplied that by the given value and its unit. The given value, 0 0.023 inches, was given to us in the problem. And we had to convert that to centimeters. By setting the problem up like this, it allows us to cancel the inches both above and below the division line, leaving only the desired unit, which is centimeters. So if we multiply 0 0.023 times 2.54, we get 0 0.058. And the only unit that didn't cancel out, because we have this set up correctly using dimensional analysis, is the centimeter unit. And that centimeter comes over here. In the second problem, we also have a given value and its unit and we multiply that by a conversion factor, one meter per 1,000 millimeters. That is the true relationship between meters and millimeters. Well, that gives us the ability to cancel out the millimeters, both above and below the division line, leaving meters. Well, a meter is not the desired unit. Actually, a kilometer is the desired unit. So we actually have to go one more step. And that one more step means multiplying by another conversion factor. And in this case, we know the correct relationship between kilometers and meters. So we put meters below the line so that the meters will factor out. And that leaves kilometers as our desired unit. So if you look at this, we actually had to go through two steps. We had to multiply by two different conversion factors before we could cancel everything out except for kilometers. And when we multiply 0 0.000343 millimeters times one meter per 1,000 millimeters, that cancels the millimeters out, leaves meters. Then we multiply again by one kilometer per 1,000 meters, and that's going to cancel out the meters. And look, the only unit left over is our desired unit, kilometers. And that's what goes in the answer. So the answer works out to 3.43 times 10 to the negative 10th kilometers. The process of dimensional analysis is absolutely necessary for solving science problems. You have to carry the units through the problems and convert from one unit to another until you get the desired unit for the answer.